Hi everybody, Michael Hat here for HDScreencast.com with a quick review and guide to Ninite.com. Ninite creates a custom installer for all the apps and utilities you might commonly use on your system, things like browsers and file viewers and chat programs, but also runtimes like Flash and Java. This comes in handy anytime you're setting up a new computer or a fresh recovery. Now you can do it the typical way and start going to all the individual websites like Skype.com and Firefox.com and look for the download files and wait for them to save. Then before you know it you've gone to a dozen sites and have a dozen different installers to run. Of course you can then back up all the installers on a flash drive for the next time you need them but after a few months new versions will have been released and these will be outdated. So let's cut to the chase. Ninite.com solves all of this and saves a ton of time too. Like it says at the top of their site you pick the apps, start the installer and you're done. It works with Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7, and each app is installed with the default settings, and toolbars and other junk is always disabled. Let's hide this info and take a look at the available apps. Everything is done from this one web page, and it's free for personal use, but if you're a professional, you should probably check out their premium services. Now, all the apps are divided into different categories. Under Web Browsers, I'm going to check off Google Chrome. For messaging, I'll pick Skype, but it's easy to install Messenger here or, or Pigeon if you prefer something open sourced. Under Media, there are apps like iTunes, plus video players like VLC and GOM. I like to use Audacity for recording and editing audio. For imaging, Paint.net is a good free alternative to Photoshop, but I guess this brings me to my only real complaint about Ninite, and that's just that there's really no description of each app or a link back to its website. So, Ninite is most useful if you know exactly what you're looking for. You're not really encouraged to try new apps unless you manually search for the info in each one as you go. Under Documents, you can install the trial version of Office 2007 plus the OpenOffice suite, and there's PDF readers and writers. For security, some solid choices are available for free tools that won't expire on you suddenly. And here's one of my favorite uses for Ninite, Runtimes. Flash, for example, requires you to install different versions for different browsers, so it's nice to have both handled at once with just a couple of checks. Can't forget good old uTorrent. If you're looking for a couple of gigs of free storage space online to share files and images, Dropbox is my personal favorite, so it's nice to see their Windows tool here too. For utilities, you can install a free CD burner and file management tools and a good multi-format compression tool like 7-Zip or WinRAR is a must. And then there's some tools that might be useful to developers, like FileZilla, the FTP client. Before I click the big shiny green button, I'll point out the area at the very bottom of their page where you can suggest a new app you'd like to see added to the list. When I click Get Installer, I can either run it now, or I can save the installer to my computer so I can use it again later. Now, don't worry, it's not going to save a huge file with all the apps in one. It's actually just a small self-contained program that always downloads the newest version of each app and installs them silently in the background. So let's check it out. I can just double-click to run it and give Windows the usual permission to run the program. Then Ninite takes over and does it all. Click Show Details and you'll see more info about the progress. As you can see, each program is downloaded and then installed in order. When it's done, you can just close the window, and you should already see some icons for the new apps along your desktop. If you think you'll use it again on this or another computer, you can back up your Ninite Auto Installer. All of the apps are installed in the same way they would be manually, so if you need to remove one, just go to your control panel and choose to uninstall the program. I'd like to thank you for watching this HD screencast, and I hope Ninite is something that you'll find useful. And if you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment and subscribe to HD Screencast.